Hi everyone and welcome back. So today in this video, let's discuss about lots or serial number configuration in order 14 community. So we can use, uh, make use of lots or serial numbers in order to track products. So if you take the case of lots, lots correspond to a certain number of products you received and store all together in one single pack. So it can be useful for batch production of clothes or food. And if you take the case of serial numbers, Serial numbers are unique identification numbers given to one product in particular to allow track the history of the item from reception to delivery and after sales. So let's see how we can configure uh, and make use of these lots of serial numbers. So these lots and serial numbers have similarities in their functionality and also they are different in, in their behavior. So both are managed within uh, sales, purchase, inventory. So if you, uh, let me open my sales module and when you go to configuration settings, there when you search for lot, we can see three options available under inventory. So this is managed by inventory application. That is here we can see option lots of and serial numbers. So get a full traceability from vendors to customers. So um, we can manage uh, this traceability of product. Then here we can see other two options that is to display lots and serial numbers on, on delivery slips and on invoices. So if you want to display on them, you can just enable this option. And after that, you can save the settings. Okay, so it is already enabled in my database. Now, let me open products and create a new product and see how we can track them, track it using not a serial number. So I'm creating a product large bench. And then I'm marking it as can be sold and can be purchased. Then I can set the product type as storable here. Then let me set the sales price for this product. Then you can see by default customer tax GST 5 percentage, which was set as a default tax for the company. Then we can set unit of measure in vendors. Then here under inventory tab, you can find option under traceability that is for tracking product. So product, this product can be tracked using unique serial number or by lots. So let me enable the second option by lots. So if you don't want to track this product, you can just enable, choose this option, no tracking. Okay. So first let's consider lots. And after saving. So here we can see a tab that is lot or serial numbers. So from here we can create lots and serial numbers for this product directly from here. Or we can find this option under inventory application, inventory application under products. That is, we can directly create lots of serial numbers. So we can see for some of the product lots of serial numbers are created. So we can see the lot number, product name, quantity. Then it will be, we will be able to see description and expiry date, expiration date set on lot number. So if we have enabled expiration, okay. So coming back to our sales. Okay, so let's create a sale order, sorry, purchase order for this product. Okay, let me open my purchase module and create a quotation for this product. And here, suppose I'm giving quantity so i'm going to purchase five quantity of large bench from vendor azure interior and here we can set a unit price for this vendor and can see the customer tax then you can see the subtotal okay so you can see it is five thousand now let me confirm this order and after confirming you can see this is a receipt so uh, that is, uh, you can see here one received. So directly from here, we can receive products. So when you receive products, you can see option to validate the receipt. 
So from here we can validate. So when you try to validate this product, that is the receipt, you can see a warning error shown. You need to supply lot of serial number for product large range. This is because we have enabled tracking using lot. Uh, that is, uh, so we have to provide the lot number here. So if you want to tra uh, track. this five units together then we can provide that is you can provide a single lot number for this five quantities or if you want to track three quantities using a different lot number you can change it like i am going to provide a lot for two quantities and another lot number for remaining three quantities and then i can confirm it and if you want to change the demand, you can just unlock and edit from here. Okay, so after that, let me validate this. So you can see we have validated the receipt and when you, you can see it, a tab traceability, when you click on that, you can see traceability report. So here you can see uh, for the product lot number, you can see here. Uh, so product is moved from vendor to stock. So you can see the number of quantities moved. And you can print the traceability report also from there. Then you can create bill from here. Okay, so now when you check the product, you can see on hand is five quantity and you can see the lot numbers here. Okay, then directly from here also we can create lot number and we can set the on hand quantity. That is we can make inventory adjustment directly from here, product page, from product page. Okay, now let's create another product okay let me pen and i'm setting storable product for that are storable then let me set the sales price okay let me set the sales price pen and here i'm adding a vendor azure interior and setting price as 12 then coming under inventory here we can find traceability option i'm setting tra tracking by unique serial number for this product and after that i'm saving this so you can see here a tab came now let's again create a purchase order for this product pen So I'm selecting the same vendor Azure India, which was set as vendor for the product inside the product. Now let me choose my pen here and uh, here I'm setting quantity as five. Okay, so you can see unit price is automatically added here 12, which was set on the product for the vendor. Now let me confirm this order and receive product validate receipt so you can see same warning error shown and when you click on this here you can see demand 5 quantity done as 0 so uh, from here manually we can add serial number so as we have enabled uh, tracking by serial number for each quantity we have to provide unique serial number so we can add uh, manually from here or we can provide a first serial number here okay suppose i'm adding serial SCR and mm, we can set the number of serial numbers that we have to generate. So when you click on this assign serial number automatically, okay, serial number is at least contain one digit. Okay, so when you click assign serial numbers, automatically you can see serial numbers generated and you can confirm it. Okay, so after that, can validate it. Now, when you check the traceability, you can see each quantity is moved from vendor to stock location. 
can see the quantity, can see the product name and the reference. Okay. And we can also print from there. So we have purchased two products that is one large bench and other one pen. So a uh, large bench was tracked by using plot number and pen was tracked by using unique serial number. Now let's go back to our sales module and create sale order or quotation. So here I can choose my large bench, then my pen. Okay, I'm purchasing two quantity of large bench and three quantity of pen. After that, let me confirm the quotation. So it is converted to sale order. And now if I check my delivery here, you can find large bench two quantities reserved and you can see automatically serial number is taken sorry lot number uh, is added here and you can see for pen mm, you can see different serial numbers given and we can validate this delivery so after validating, you can see traceability report. When you check, we can see product with lot number is moved from uh, product large bench with lot number is moved from stock to consumers. And you can see three pens are moved with unique seal numbers from stock uh, from stock to customers. So this is how we trace a product, trace products using lots or serial numbers. And we can also check this in your inventory. Like when you check the lots of serial numbers, you can see for pen and large bench, you can see the lots or serial numbers are created. And when you open, here you can see the related purchase order, sales, location, and traceability. So that's all about configuring lots and serial numbers in Odo 14 community. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.